October 3rd, uh, Microsoft finally released uh, SQL Server 2017. So now that it's released, I'll go ahead and try to get an installation going and see what uh, see how it works. So once you uh, download the installer, which is like five megabytes, um, you launch it and you get this screen. Now at this point, for some students in my very, very basic courses, you could just go ahead and use basic. But for most students, I'm recommending you download the media and then do the installation at a later point in time. So just depends. Uh, if you're taking one of my uh, business intelligence courses or um, SQL management, uh, administration courses, management courses, then we definitely want a complete uh, install and have that media um, available. To tell you the truth, um, all of these seem to download the media anyway. It's just that you have a little more control this way. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. And I usually make a, soft, uh, a folder on my PC for my software, so I'm going to go ahead and change that. My personal preference. And let's uh, get that going. I'll pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay, so it didn't take that long. And uh, now it's downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and open the folder. So let's see where it put it for us. Uh, sort things by date. And there it is. So it's an ISO file, which uh, sounds pretty fancy. Uh, but basically, it's just something you can unzip. I use 7-zip to unzip it myself. Uh, other people will just go ahead and mount it. That's part of Windows. Uh, just a personal preference, really. Okay. And what do we have here? The folder. So now that I'm in here, I have the setup file. Let's go ahead and run this administrator. And it looks pretty much the same as always. <clears throat> Install a new installation, SQL Server. Developer Edition. Use license. <clears throat> I want the database engine, um, and I want analysis server on here. And let's see what else have we got. Looks like they've changed a few things here. Uh, looks like the reporting server is no longer at the top anymore. Integration server would work, but it I've already got a copy of integration server, and it can't be a side-by-side -side instance. So looks like uh, if you're looking for reporting services, download it from the web. So they've separated it now. And um, that would be it. So just those two for right now. Uh, if I want to install 2017 integration services, I'll have to uninstall my earlier 2016 version and then install it but no more work for this mm. and I have to come up with the name I'll call it SQL 2017 should flip over there SQL 2017 okay I'll make everything the same <coughs> And all that's good. And I want to make sure that I add the current user. Always uh, an issue. Make sure you add the current user. You can add other users as well. So I actually have a, another account here for my personal account. I could add that in as well. Make a, <coughs> that account an admin. Um, but for certain, add your own self. And same thing is going to be true over here. Now, <clears throat> it used to be that the default 
was multi-dimensional, but now they've kind of moved in a direction. They went tabular. So um, uh, tabular is fine. Uh, luckily, you can have both. So I'm going to go ahead and choose multi-dimensional for right now and then add tabular on at later point. But in all cases, I'm going to make sure I add current user. <coughs> well, also I should probably put this on a different, if I'm using this with large sets of data, I'm not. Uh, I'd probably put it on a different drive. <coughs> and that's it. And so let's let it cook. Okay, so it looks like everything um, has successfully installed, which is good. I have the database engine, I have analysis server, the queue piece, uh, SQL browser, SQL writer, and some support files. <coughs> now, if I need to add something again, I have to come back into the wizard and run it, but overall, it should be good to go. It does tell you that you must restart your computer after setup in order to complete things, and that's a really good point. I still may be able to connect to it, <coughs> but there's no guarantees right now. <coughs> Since I installed my installation with as a SQL, uh, named instance for SQL 2017, I'll have to type that in and make sure I can connect. Yep, I'm in. So it's all working, uh, but I'm still going to go ahead and restart the computer. So the good news is it didn't take very long to install. It was pretty quick to download, installed pretty quickly. Um, actually, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. So it's. Uh, it looks like a, a very smooth transition. So we'll see how it goes uh, going forward. But for right now, uh, that's a simple setup for SQL Server 2017.